everyone, and welcome back for another deep dive. Today, um, we're actually uh, ditching the treadmill and like exploring a different approach to running. Okay. You guys sent over some excerpts from Slow Jogging by Hiroaki Tanaka. Mm -hmm. And honestly, the title alone, Lose Weight, Stay Healthy, and Have Fun with Science-Based Natural Running. Yeah. Fun while running. I was like, is this for real? Yeah, it's definitely, it is an interesting take. Yeah, but Tanaka seems to be onto something. What's really fascinating to me is how it seems like these excerpts kind of turn the usual fitness script on its head. Okay. It's like we're so used to no pain, no gain. Right. You know, pushing ourselves to the limit. Yeah. But Tanaka's suggesting that maybe slowing down is a key. Just to like a more sustainable way to move and have fun. Okay, so the book talks about this Nico, Nico pace, mm. which is essentially running at a speed where you can like smile and hold a conversation. Yeah. I don't know about you, but my running face is not a happy one. It's true. Most people's isn't. It's not a pretty sight. But it is kind of a refreshing concept when you think about it. Right. And it's not just about, you know, feeling good. Okay. There's actually some interesting science behind it. LA. Yeah. So when you're running at that Nico Nico pace, you're mainly engaging your slow twitch muscle fibers. Mm -hmm. Think of those as like your long haul muscle fibers. Okay. They're all about endurance. Right. And they don't tire out as easily as those fast twitch fibers that we tap into when we're sprinting. You know? mm, right. Yeah. So by going slower, you're actually able to run longer, which seems to be like the core of Tanaka's philosophy. Yeah. Like duration over speed. I like that. Yeah. Forget the speed, enjoy the scenery. Exactly. And speaking of challenging norms, I found this next part pretty wild. Okay. So the book claims that you burn the same amount of calories running a mile no matter how fast you go. Interesting. So I could like walk a mile and burn the same as like sprinting a mile. Well, maybe not sprinting, but okay. the core concept is there. Interesting. The science does back it up. Okay. Think about it this way. Boating calories is basically the work your body is doing over a certain distance. Right. So, yeah, a faster pace might feel way more intense in the moment. Sure. But ultimately, a slower, longer run can burn the same amount of calories. Wow. It really comes down to it's about finding a pace that you can keep up and, and enjoy. Well, that's good news to my ears. Yeah. Now, this next part about natural elasticity and forefoot striking. Okay. I'm a little lost, I gotta say. Okay. There's a line about the Achilles tendon being like a spring. Right, yeah. yeah. It's basically saying, imagine your Achilles tendon like one of those bouncy pogo sticks. Yeah. When you're landing on your forefoot, it's like you're compressing that spring. Mm. So you're storing energy. Okay. And then when you push off, all that energy releases and it propels you forward. Oh, I see. So it ends up being more efficient. Interesting. Which goes back to Tanaka's whole thing about natural movement. So it's less about like pounding the pavement and more about this kind of like energized bounce. Pretty much, yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, it's an interesting way to think about it. It is. Okay, this next part of the excerpts kind of threw me off. Oh, yeah. Tanaka talks about the benefits of interrupted exercise. Okay. So like we're not even talking about running continuously. Right. Does that even really count as a workout then? Whoa. And then he mentions this whole Nasunagami thing. Yeah. Sounds kind of like a mythical creature. It does, doesn't it? But something tells me it's something different entirely. You're right about that. No mythical creatures in this book. Okay. Although I guess the way Tanaka describes Nasunagami kind of does sound like a superpower. Really? Yeah. But um, to answer your first question about those interrupted workouts, right. basically what Tanaka is suggesting mm -hmm. is that short bursts of running, even with walking breaks in between, can be really good for you. Mm. It's not about like forcing yourself to run without stopping. It's more about just staying active and letting your body kind of recover in between. Right. You know, think of it like interval training, but more relaxed. Okay. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. It does kind of take the pressure off. Yeah, exactly. You're not so focused on running a specific distance without stopping. And that actually leads us right into Nasunogami. Okay. It's all about like, Running with this lightness. Oh, really? Almost as if you were trying not to step on and crush an eggshell. Wow. It's like this really cool blend of mindfulness and movement. Interesting. Finding that kind of sweet spot between pushing yourself, but not too much. So it's not really about how fast your feet are moving, but more about being aware of your body. Yeah. Like really paying attention to how each step feels. Exactly. You got it. And that level of body awareness can be really powerful. I bet. And not even just when you're running. 
you know? Yeah. It applies to so many other areas of life. That's true. Yeah. I've never really thought about it like that, but it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So this Nasunagami thing, it's almost like a moving meditation. Exactly. And like with any kind of meditation. Right. It, it takes practice. Sure. But just imagine if you could make your runs that much more enjoyable. Yeah. Just by being more present and light on your feet. I like that a lot. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's funny. We always talk about pushing our limits in exercise. Yeah. But this is like pushing our limits of awareness. That's a great way to put it. Yeah. I, it's not about working against your body. Right. It's about working with your body. I like it. And speaking of working with our bodies. Okay. Tanaka does have some advice for people right. who are just starting out with slow jogging. Okay, that makes sense because, I mean, yeah. running in general can be pretty intimidating for beginners, even if you're going slow. Oh, absolutely. So what does he say? So what does he say about starting out? Well, he mentions a beginner's pace, like walking 55 yards in 40, 50 seconds. Okay. Or a mile in 21, 26 minutes. Okay. Yeah, it's really about starting with something that feels doable and enjoyable, right. even if it's slower than you think it should be. Right. You know, it's about building a good relationship right. with running gradually. Yeah, and I think that makes a lot of sense because yeah. we get so caught up in comparing ourselves totally. to other people yeah. and feeling like we need to be hitting these milestones. It's so true. Right away. But slow jogging is different. Yeah. The focus is more internal. Okay. It's less about what other people think. Right. More about how you connect with your own body. I like that. Yeah. You know, it's amazing to me how much these excerpts have like yeah changed my view of running right i always saw it as this like yeah grueling awful thing uh, like a chore yeah exactly something to just get through yeah not something to enjoy right but tanaka is showing this whole other side of it totally it's about being mindful and connected exactly having fun it's about rediscovering that natural joy of moving our bodies right the joy we often lose as Life gets busy and we get older. Which makes me wonder, like, yeah, what other activities could we learn to enjoy more yeah. if we just changed how we thought about them? That is such a good question. Right. And I think it's something all of us should be thinking about. Yeah. What if we tried to live by this Nico Nico idea? Yeah. What if we were just a little gentler and more mindful? Yeah. In our workouts. Right. But also just in our everyday lives. That's something to consider for sure. Right. Well, thanks for joining me on this deep dive into slow jogging. Of course, it's been fun. It's definitely given us all a lot to think about. Lots to ponder. Maybe even jog on. Maybe even jog on, exactly. All right, until next time, everyone. See you later.